guys so we're into the start of week seven um so what have we got ahead for us this week um days one and two moderate uh, very circuit orientated again um we're trying to increase a bit of speed and endurance into you into you this week um days three and four are a hit day which is a red day and then a sprint day so out onto a common and um no sorry beg your pardon it's uh it's an interval session so it's a 30 minute pyramid run um but we'll come to that as we as we uh, get through the week uh, and then we wind down towards the, the last the second the last two days i should say um hopefully you're going well you're staying injury free getting stronger getting a bit fitter and you felt a, a sort of ramp up of progressions of intensity and you're a bit able to apply yourself more and um, today so day one week seven is a retest of your Illinois agility test so you've got your um, sprint test which is around the cones or jumpers whatever you can lay out in the common and just pace it out as best you can try and make it as uh, equal to what you did in week three um, then you've got your standing high jump your standing long jump all we'll do is we'll just repeat that video from day three, week three, so that you have all the, all the details there and it's uh, exactly the same to what we did. So hopefully it's going well and uh, we'll catch up for day two, which is uh, yeah going to be in the garden for me because we're still in lockdown uh, and it's baking hot out there for me today. So I will have my bandana back on. Hey. All right, I'll uh, catch up with you later, guys. All the best. Good luck with the retest. Hopefully you feel a little bit more speed, a little bit more um, reaction and change of direction and everything's feeling pretty good. Uh, again, hopefully you've recorded as well what you did back in day three, week three um, for that first first test. Okay, see you soon. So today is, I think, go to a local park, local football field, anything like that. Get yourself a, a good 10-15 minute run around um, just jog, jog and build up gradually and we will put an image up that shows you how to set up the Illinois agility test so um, if you don't have tape measure because you know you might need to take 10 meters and all this stuff just pace it or use lines on a football field or just try and get something that you think you can replicate in a few weeks time um, so the idea is you put bottles or t towels or jackets or jerseys whatever and um, so you have cones to run around uh, and you go through your Illinois agility test three times give yourself a good recovery uh, but don't let yourself cool down too much all right so it's entirely when you feel you're ready to go and do it again we've also put in a couple of videos for um, a standing long jump and a standing high jump again record those three times each try and get the and, and Keep the keep them all noted down if you can. Measure it, pace it, use a marker. Go back and make sure you use exactly the same place if you can. Um, I've had to do mine in my back garden, um, just using slabs. But uh, you know, it's entirely up to you. Just try and find a way of doing it so that you can have something that you can look back on when you retest in a few weeks' time. Okay. Then again, you can use. Uh, a football field and you and we're looking at timed 30 minute sprint 50 minute sprint and a 70 meter sprint um, in an you know and and you just have a walk back you do it you do three times on each one it's as fast as you can from a standing start and you run it out you don't um, you, you don't stop dead okay uh, try and do it timed and again if you can't be precise on 30 meters which is absolutely fine just try and make sure you're using either uh, lines of the whether it be the uh, box on the football pitch or halfway lines or anything like that so you're using some form of mark it could be trees anything like that that you can come back and replicate again in a few weeks time as we keep saying uh, have a minute between each set of three okay uh, so, it's a, so it's a sprint, walk back, sprint, walk back, and then definitely have a, a minute between your step up from 30 meters to 50 meters or the increase in distance that you manage to, to mark out. Okay, uh, Go for a little jog, jog walk recovery, 
and that's it you're done for the day okay and um, so hopefully that will make sense and we've managed to squeeze in videos that marry up with everything okay and I think the best thing to do is as you're working through it just press pause look back see the markers uh, and try and take a little pen or a pet pad out with you record um, the distances or replicate what you can all right make a little mental note or a physical note as to where you've done the recordings right guys so it's standing high jump here using the side of my house all right and I'm reaching up as far as I can Normally I'd put a little mark there, if you, if you can, or just lick your fingers, get an idea where it's at, get a visual mark. If you've got a tape measure, by all means measure it, okay? And then what you're aiming to do is crouch down as high as you can, and then try and slap a mark up the wall wherever you are. You can do it on the tree side, whatever. Wherever you're doing it, make sure you, you remember where you're doing it so that you can come back to it when we do the retest uh, week seven or eight, I think it is, okay? So you're just looking for a mark between the two and we're looking for you to go two, three times through get three of those and it's the best one of those three all right okay guys standing long jump you're going to do it three times i'm using my slab as a, a marker <sighs> try and get it a bit further each time Hopefully we don't regress. Oh, oh yeah, well better. <laughs> All right. And further again. Three times. Keep a mark. Try and use the same place for when we retest you in week seven or eight, I think it is.